Hello everyone, Damien here again. So I have gotten the second of the 5% power updates and I'm just gonna, uh, for the Model 3 performance here, and I'm just gonna give you a quick, uh, quick show of the speedometer, just a quick zero to 60. Maybe we'll see if I can get a zero to 100. And uh, just show you a difference after the 5% update and I'll show you the numbers on the screen. We'll just talk through them real quick. It'll be a real quick video. I just want to show you kind of realistically what you can expect out of this latest 5% update. Uh, going by the numbers, um, we should be in the 496 horsepower at the wheel range after two updates, which if you compare that to how gasoline cars are rated uh, at the crank, if this had a crank uh, with about 15% drivetrain loss, we'd be looking at, I believe, right around 586 horsepower. 586 horsepower at this price range. That's awesome. All right, let's take a look. All right, everyone, so there you have it. But now let's talk actual numbers. I've got all the numbers written here. Let me just read them. So I think the most important thing here is the actual change, not my actual numbers. I'm a little heavier than average, so an average uh, weight driver or a lightweight driver is probably gonna get a little bit better time. So let's really look at the improvement or the difference between the pre-update and post-update times. So here we go. Before the update, we've got, I have a best of 0 to 60 in 3.55. That's a 3.37 with rollout. 0 to 100 miles an hour in an 8.96. Quarter mile, 11.88 at 113.16. And after the update, I managed the best 0 to 60 in 3.44 or 3.24 with rollout so at 3.24 the car even with uh, me being as heavy as I am in the car is hitting its advertised 3.20 to 60 that's good to, good to see 0 to 100 8.38 and a quarter mile and 11.7 at 116.21 so that is a gain of 0.11 in the 0 to 60 and a gain of 0.58 in the 0 to 100, so that's a little over a half a second. That's a nice gain. And 0.18 in the quarter, and it also picked up just over three miles an hour. So that's nearly a solid two car length uh, update, um, or increase, I should say, from the update uh, in the quarter mile run. Like I said, it's an increase of 0.18 in the quarter um, quicker obviously so yeah that's almost two cars and the other the other thing is it picked up just over three miles an hour so I think that's pretty big too so uh, you know that's pretty awesome you know what other car maker just gives you more power just to do it I mean have you ever heard of somebody's like I don't know a BMW dealership calling you up and say hey why don't you bring the car down to uh, my dealer to the dealership and uh, we'll tune it up for you and give you another 30 or 40 horse does that happen? No, not so much. Anyway, gotta love the Tesla. And uh, all right, guys, so those are the numbers. See you next time.